niggas in this joint. Never strap all week. What this shit go left? Fuck you mean this shit go left, nigga. Fuck you. I'm so glad we ran into each other. I've been sorry. What's going on? We back. I'm the Hustler of the Year. This is another exclusive episode of the Takeover Files. We got something real special today, y'all. Now, we got an amazing form of art that's about to drop early 2024. All right. Recorded right here in our counties. The Lick. Shout out to the cast of the Lick. We got a uh, director, executive producer, another cast member. Let everybody introduce themselves real quick. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Maziah, the filmmaker. I'm the writer and director of The Lick, the movie. Yeah, my name Roly. Rolex 469 on the gram. My name I'm 215 Pauly on the gram. Everybody know Pauly. Come yeah, on, you know they know Pauly. I'm happy to be up here, yeah. man, part of this movie, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm bringing that new modern day Benny and Siegel to life. Oh, my you know God, yeah. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry, but you said the new modern day Benny and Siegel. You're talking about when you're like... Are you like paper soldiers? No, like I'm on state poppy type of thing. Okay, you know, okay. The right, first right. one, if you see the first one, you know what I'm talking about. What do you mean if I send the first one? I'm bringing it up. 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 i am Actually, it's really a it's really Talk a, a little bit for me. Yeah, gotcha. It's really a good feeling for real, for real. Um, this is actually my fifth short film. Well, this is a oh, movie. You do this. Yeah, so I wrote my first short film when I was 15 years old. I wrote it and um, produced it. Fast forward now, like tapping into this particular project, like far as how it came to birth, I'll say is like I met him on my last project, which is a web series called Living in Poverty, and um. Basically, I shot that myself and, you know, just to get my content out there. And he just basically, he seen what I was doing and then he was like, you know, I want to get behind the project with you. Oh, we can do it the right way. You know, um, hire a cameraman, an editor, and like, you know, really do something with it. So, you know, took that leap of faith, partnership, and um, seeing it just like from the process of me, all right, writing it, we uh, cast for it and then um, rehearsed for about three months. And then now that we filmed it and then... It's wrapping up. It's just it's a good feeling. Cause nah, it's nah. like it's coming to life. So it's a good nah, that's dope. So so bro, what made you like you know decide to really invest in your, your time because your time and your talent. I ain't gonna lie. Talk a little closer to my phone. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. Like she was she had a vision. Uh -huh. Like when she shot the last web series, I know her from a can of motherfucking paint. No lie. She had casting calls. There was practicing and everything. She called me. Said, "Listen, can you come shoot today?" I pulled the fuck up. All right. Mm -hmm. Met her. And one day, we was sitting in my living room, we were smoking, we were just talking, you know, regular shit. And she was like, man, I've been writing. I said, you know what, man, let's do this shit, you know? I got my clothing brands, Royal Rebels, so I turned my Royal Rebel clothing brand into Royal Rebels Productions. Mm. Now it's my production company. This is my first production, and we're going to keep going. We dropping lick two, Will and Nav, just like McGraw had, we on y'all niggas' ass from down there. Murder pain, we on you. You look, he just All gave him a, 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 a exclusive one. A little exclusive. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little exclusive. Because Lick 2's coming, too. Yeah, Everything's yeah, on the way. Talk too much sometimes. Yeah, yeah, talk a little yeah, too much. Yeah, look, yeah, y'all look exclusive. <laughs> a little excited. That's all. A little excited. <laughs> hey, hey, Paulie, bro, I wonder, 
Uh, you you have a, a dope social media presence, bro. Everybody know you in the city. You know. You know why I'm, everybody know me? Cause I don't be on, I don't do no fuckery shit. So uh, that's why, like. I'm about to go over your heads, nigga. Yeah, I'm gonna mm-hmm. stand. I'm gonna stand a real nigga because you know what I'm saying. Everybody know me. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> they be like, Paul to me, you don't gotta do too much. Paul, I got you. Don't even worry about it. I'm a stand up nigga. So if you see me hanging around like certain be like the TY Flawless or Dot. Shout out Ty for all this. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Dot. You naming my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't you worry about it, man. I'm from the I'm from the um six or around the corner. I'll be around the corner from all them niggas, so don't even worry about it. Dot be my man for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole five too. No, fact. They they fuck with the movement. So right now me and me and Dot, me and Dot been talking, been talking like party. If you need a verse on your project, let me know. He said he gonna do it. No, so. that thorough too. And my man Paulie got bars. Paulie got bars. <laughs> listen, Paulie got bars. I got I, listen. I got a little bit of everything, man. I ain't I ain't come to start overnight. Why you ain't tapping take over bars, nigga? Man, See, that's how you put niggas yeah, on the spot, nigga. Like, bars, nigga, come in, motherfucker, take over bars, nigga, and talk that listen, shit. Listen, today, man, I, I'm here today. Listen, we, listen, I got nothing but time. All right, we gonna, we gonna see nigga energy after this interview, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. But no, no. So, so also, Paulie, I do wanna know, um, just, just how does it, is this your first project? No, this is my second movie. Your second movie? Yeah. So, so tell me some of the differences between your first project and working with this group. Oh man, my first project, working with Rich and Boom, was like a dream come true. Like, oh, fact, a bit. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, man. Shout out to them, man. They had a casting for for um, y'all drawing, so I was down there and got a roll in that. So, man, me like being down there on that set, it's like being on a hard not life tour. Mm. Everybody just came along, got. Got the movie done. I met Meatball for the first time. You know what I'm saying? I saw it down there. Shout out to Meatball. Shout out to Meatball. Oh, yeah, knockout king. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all right, beat. Don't call me white girl, man. She know one of my folks. It's like me and her like family for real now. So, like, she got a wonderful soul, man. Don't call me white girl. was down there. I saw Southside through the first time. Buck was down there. It's the butler. Like, yo, so all these the funny whole, motherfuckers. Shout out them niggas. That's like yeah. the Philly Mount Rushmore comedians. And it's I so know. dope. The, the Like, Philly's entertainment, Philly, the county, the entertainment scene right now is just amazing. You feel me? Because it's like, I feel like I was just talking to somebody earlier. Everybody's out of that laziness the pandemic bought us. We were yeah. so, like, money seemed like it was so easy. It was just flowing. It was, you feel me? Everybody for different reasons. But it's just like, that turned niggas lazy for like two years, I feel like. I and now it's like everybody breaking out of that shit and really, you know, living in their purpose. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I did feel like I was in like a standstill. Like it took me like, you know, like I was having writer's block, all that. So I feel like I was in a standstill. No, no, that's a fact. So y'all, um, and, and, and I do want to know, so without telling us too much about the movie, can we get like a brief? I want to tell y'all everything. No, nah, don't, nigga. You don't talk too much. Everything. He talked too much, bro. He, he gave out the other exclusive. Yeah. He was talking crazy on set. No, no, no. He's cool. No, he's talking crazy on set. He be so great. They try to save his shit. Yeah. No, no so, I'll vouch for him. Don't give me the trailer to, too early. I'll, I'll vouch for him. <laughs> no, no, that's a fact, y'all. So, dang, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, man. I. I'm I'm really looking forward to this project. Um, and real quick, like I was saying, somebody just give us a little brief like overview of what this, what the lick is about. Is about the okay. lick the movie. Yeah, the lick the movie. So it's basically, what the lick the movie is about, it's about two childhood friends who hustle to survive the streets of Chester from robbing, stealing, killing, and so they loyalty loyalty is tested and their life is on the line. Mm. And you wrote that clearly. Yep. Because you got that shit like on the, Like that's the joint that you read on the back of the DVD. Stand. <laughs> Real rap, like. Real rap. Yo, so what's what's your favorite experience just about this whole um ex- experience situation? Well, I can speak for myself. Um myself with this whole experience, this actually was my first time teaming up with somebody. So that was a new experience in right. itself in in like a journey. And it was it was at first it was like, you know, like I wasn't used to it, but it's actually, it was, it, it turned out to be an amazing experience for real, for real, because like, I realized you really can't do this shit by yourself. You need a team behind you. And the team that I'm starting with is, is <laughs> with. like, I, I really no. fuck with them. Like we locked in and it's like, I feel like we going to like push for greatness and stuff. So for real, for real, I feel like. Yeah, Before y'all answer, can I ask you a question real quick? Um, All right. So I remember just, I was so used to working by myself when, you know, when a team came about. I was, it was hard for me to, and they can attest to it, it's hard for me to like uh, uh, just just reach and let them know different things or like say I got an idea and it's like, all right, we're going to do this. And it's like, oh shit, damn, I got to. No, literally, 
I was, I was re- like, to this day, I, I, I feel like I'm still kind of facing those challenges, but I was facing those challenges. That's why I looked at him because it's funny because, like, we had a little hurdle, and he was like, I realized, like, you're really not used to working with a team. And then I had to self-reflect, like, damn, damn I'm really. me neither. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm so used to being a team myself. So, right. like, now that I'm tapping in with a team, I'm like, damn, like, you feel me? You got to be open to ideas. Like, run shit by them. Don't keep them in the dark, you know. Like, and it's some shit that they bring into the table, too, that is, like, you feel me? It make the project even better, you no, feel fact. me? So, it's just like, yeah, you definitely right about that. Oh, that's a fact. So, y'all, you know, what's some of y'all favorite experiences just about this? Meeting the cast, man. Shout out to the cast. They, they thorough. Yeah. They thorough. You know, I definitely want them to get a little camera time, let y'all see their face or oh, whatever. Yeah, for sure. They thorough. I'll fuck with them all. You know, sometimes you meet new people, and they be the best people you meet. You nah, fast. Sure. Real right. Paulie, what's your favorite experience about all? What's your favorite, you know, just. It's like for me. Being right at home with the cast, you know what I'm saying? They opened me welcome arms. It was no jealousy, it was no hatred. Like it's like good energy. Good energy. Yeah. Good spirits. Like this acting shit, I ain't gonna lie. I love it already. Like, no, that's all right. Like motherfuckers trying to discourage me. I don't got time for it. But you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> this day and age, like they wanna be in my shoes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we ain't got time for no doubters. Like listen, you know what I'm saying? We like focus. They gonna be at the premiere. I they know. Gonna be at the and if they ain't <laughs> at the premiere, they gonna watch us on. You know. Yeah. Uh, and then, listen, you and know? the after party, man. I'm hosting that too, so you know. Oh, y'all gonna turn it. Y'all turn that shit. I ain't gonna hold. I know y'all set like just shooters used to be dope because the way y'all got up here, rolled that weed up, just start, bro. I'm like, oh yeah, they shit used to be smooth as shit. Everybody cool, <laughs> yeah. chilling, y'all man. No, that's yeah, I'll be dark, be dark, low as shit like mine, like right now. <laughs> like, like, you know. No, that's it. So, y'all, before we break up the next set, you know, um, if any of y'all, all y'all get something off your chest, any advice, any whatever's on your mind, you know, talk to the people. Let's go everybody individually. Yeah, now, listen, man, let me tell y'all something. Invest. That's all I got to say. If you got that little bit of money laying around, just let it sit there. That shit ain't flipping just sitting there. You got to flip that shit yourself. You got to turn it into something. You feel me? Use it. You know, you never know what it can turn into. That's all I got to say. No, that's Believe so in yourself. That's all. Mm. Sure. All right. Stay humble and get that money. Mind your business. That's all you gotta do. And don't be and don't be no sucking ass nigga. No Fact. dog on this dick either. Be yourself. <laughs> that was personal. <laughs> that was the some that fucking was body. Right? That, that was. was a, I know. I know that look. That was the some body. <laughs> no, nah, that. It is, it is, but at the same time, it's not somebody, <laughs> but it's not somebody, but it's like, it's people in general. They want to, I'm going to tell you something about me right now. I'm going to tell you something about me. Like, oh yeah, Paulie, you know everybody in this city, but at the same time, I'm not dicking. It's that type of energy. Right now, you could go right down softly, fit to the task, or like, you might see some nigga like, Huff down there, or, yo, Huff, I'll, yo, Paulie, that's there, you? Yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm that... I'm that person. I, I can go anywhere I want and be known. Yeah, Talk that shit, Paulie. That that that's crazy. You know what's crazy? Yeah, yeah. I w- know what's crazy. You no know dawns on me <laughs> right Let now. Know, I was on Twitter a couple of days ago, right? Some girl was asking me, oh, you want to buy some content? And that's when you know she was asking me. You, like, was, you was buying No, no, no I wasn't buying. On, she was, yeah. No, I was Don't on Twitter. Don't be trying to promote your no. only fans yeah. and shit, Paulie. No, no, I was on... I was on, first of all, I was on Twitter tweeting. Some girl said, oh, Nick, oh you look so look so familiar. I said, huh? I said, where you be? I said, um, Instagram? No, you be in the clubs. <laughs> I said, um, yeah, I used to, man, but I, I pop up when I have to, you know what I'm saying? I said, having the ball in the club. One girl said, yeah, Mr. Yeah, okay, okay, daddy. That's a, yeah, I got to go, baby. Um, Paulie, what is you talking about, dog? What <laughs> <I'm laughs> you sorry. talking about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, ask you the question again. I almost forgot. I'm sorry. I was telling you that story on Twitter. So, you know, no, no, you, I'm, I'm, you're not talking shit. Oh, man. It's like, wait, I'm talking. Listen, I'm over here. I'm already like, <laughs> hey, I'm, listen, I'm in a good mood. No. When I start spitting them bars, it's gonna be like, damn, who is that? Is that you? Yo. Niggas, so niggas be talking all that bar shit till it's time for them bars, nigga. Well, listen, I'm not scared of no nah, child. That's my nigga. I fuck with Paulie, though, bro. No, real quick. So let, let's um, just, just your um, advice. I mean, your, uh, anything you gotta go up your chest, any advice, you know? Oh. Um, the advice I could give, I say, um, just stay consistent, keep pushing, even when. You ain't even motivated to keep pushing. They be the times where you got to push the most. Right. I say uh, take risks because you can meet people. And, you know, like take risks with people. You could meet people that be the 
Like some some of the best people in your life, you feel me? Whereas though you form a partnership and y'all 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 push and change each other's life. So I I say take risks, keep pushing, and yeah. No, no, that's a fact, y'all. So look, yeah. man, we appreciate y'all. You know, we are gonna bring the next group on real quick. All right, and real quick before y'all leave, this episode brought to you by Yams, Young Ambitious Minds. Y'all know it's winter time, hoodie season. You got the new hats out, you know what I'm saying? You got the new bucket hat. We just pulled that on. Y'all ain't even see that before, you know what I'm saying? That's exclusive. So make sure y'all tap in www.yamsyoungambitiousminds.com. Beautiful hair in a fucked up situation. The next old bitch that try step will be copping out. Bitch, you old as shit. Go change your daughter. I'll walk you out. This bitch keep on testing me. I might just put my hands on her. How you talking about my daughter? Your brother's a transformer. I'm, I'm at the pinnacle. Watch you make a Glock and a mic look identical. I'ma catch a body tonight. Feel like a criminal. Give me your mic so I can show you how to really catch a body with it. Say you make a Glock and a mic look identical. That's not even your lane. And watch your mouth for she get physical. I really do it. I spin around to get you. Rip this bullet out my spine and put that bitch back in a pistol. And I call this shit a side quest. Now we take a side bets. You will have to eat this hell, but it's hard to digest. I'm starting to think all of my haters, they really love me. Pissing these bitches off, they calling me R. Kelly. I they didn't guess it's R. Kelly line so much, this bitch believe she fly. She already saying shit, y'all gonna make this bitch believe she not. We got a battle, y'all. Hey, yo, I'm the hustler the year, little takeover. Make sure y'all tap into the takeover files. Takeover bars, battle league, and everything takeover. We got a lot in store for y'all coming up. We back with the cast of The Lick, the movie. What's up, fellas? Y'all, 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 like, y'all the gangsters in the movie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> no, we, we, we sound like they that. Talk, talking yeah, to yeah, right yeah. for me? No, we was. Yeah, me and like my that. man Tiz and shit, we was, yeah. So real quick, everybody introduce this. Like, Rainy Day. <laughs> yeah, this sure. is my dog right here. Yeah, yeah, respectfully, you feel me? I'm just meeting yeah. y'all. This is my nigga right here. Yeah, yeah, you Take over my you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Hey, wait for that to drop, though. Hey, listen, it's gonna be out soon, nigga. Crazy, dog. Everybody introduce themselves real quick, man. My name is Drizzy, but in the movie, I play I play Marley in the movie. Okay. Yeah. I'm Rainy Day and I play Tuz. I'm one Twine and I play Twine. That nigga say, I'm one Twine and I play Twine. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny as shit. No, that's, so, so tell me a little bit about each of y'all characters. Uh, well, me, I was just like on some on dog shit the whole time. Yeah, I could tell. They got angry. Yeah, <laughs> hey, bro, this nigga say two words sitting at the couch the whole day. <laughs> I knew he was still in character. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, yeah, I was yeah. on, some, on some dog shit. Like, we was in that joint robbing, hitting licks, shit like that. Mm. <clears throat> shit that, like, really come with the street shit. Yeah. <clears throat> no, no, fuck. Yeah. Hey, Randy Day, tell me about your role. All right, so for me, like, like my character and everything, he, he a little more uh, conservative and everything. He still, he still be on some dog shit, but you feel me? But he <laughs> had a little comedic feel to it. You feel me? So it's not too serious, but it's, it's there. I feel that. I feel nah, that. De- definitely there, for sure. Y'all gonna see when, when it come out. Y'all gonna see. Where? So, I, I, sure. Bro, real quick, so tell me about your character, bro. My girl, I'm basically their friend. I'm with them. So y'all niggas all on dog shit. Yeah, Pretty yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Listen, to say the least, for real, for real, though. But it, you know, we, I had a lot of fun doing this shit, especially with them. You like, know. literally, like the whole shit just on dog shit, start to finish. Like, literally, we ain't had no scene where we just on some <laughs> shit. Like, niggas yeah. on never just chill us <laughs> over the blood. Talking just about no bitch. No chill, man. No chill at all. Yeah, just just on dog shit. Every chance niggas got, for sure. Hey, so, so you know, is this your first movie? Uh, this first movie, yeah, but I did like shit in the past, but it wasn't like it wasn't nothing like yeah, what, I, what I'm doing now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, it's for my sure. first movie, but it's my second time acting. Shout out Mazaya. Uh, I was on Living in Poverty. Okay, it's the last time around. Definitely shout out to Mazaya because I came. I came in late. Oh yeah, I came in the whole situation late, like when it was damn near done rehearsing all that. So, 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 so real quick, tell me about y'all process. Just and you know, y'all, 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 um, the casting for each of your roles. Like, what was your process like? I, just, I watch a lot of TV, so I just, like, thought about how they are on TV and just locked in with my character, like, had to always, like, lock in for sure. And he helped me. Like, he just kept me, you feel me, on my right. game. Like, bro, do this, you got to do that, or do right, this, right. like that. Like, he start to finish, so I definitely needed that for sure. I feel that. So for, me, for me, like, uh... I, I really was supposed to be a different character and shit, but my brother ain't want to bring me to the, for the, <laughs> the first shit. rehearsal. Yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that though. We have a lot of conversations <laughs> about that shit. Yeah, but, you know what I mean? He ain't want to bring me to the, the rehearsal I was supposed to go to and everything, but, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I was I was, when I went to my first rehearsal, I thought I was doing a different role. Uh-huh. But then when I got there, they was like, "No, try out for this." Well, Tez and everything. And as soon as I did it, it was like, "Yo, like that's you, yeah, that's you, yeah." So like that shit just came like that. And Man. I came on and joined as an extra. Like I ended up getting like a yeah. lead role and shit. Oh, so yeah. they wrote you in some shit? Yeah. yeah. But the crazy, well, the crazy thing is, so like he actually took over one of the main roles. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. he came in as an extra and took over the main role and shit. And, like we took it and rolled with it. Like yeah. he he fit the role better than the nigga was doing it. You feel me? So and, and it's he, like the nigga here. 
It's, nah, he, no. he So y'all done kicked him out the plucked off the <laughs> movie too. No, he kicked, too? His, no, he kicked himself off up. that joint. Like what? <clears throat> For he, real? Yeah, yeah pretty bro. much. He kicked himself off that joint, bro. Like he he just was he just stopped coming. He's like, good luck everybody, and just stopped coming. Yeah, <laughs> he, he was sorry. He, he gave himself <laughs> a boot. He, he gave up the role, but he you know said, what I mean. It, it was for the better though, because everything yeah, like, worked no, out way no, better no than shit, it, like no everything worked like, out. Yeah. Cause and shit, like I, it wouldn't have been like yeah. how it he, was if, if I ain't do it. No, no, like, fact. Him doing that like, shit. Everything happened Every, for a reason. Exactly. Yeah, I was just about to say that like bro. everything happened the way it's supposed to. You feel me? So like you know what I mean. It was a blessing though, like in disguise for real, for real, in my opinion. But what y'all? You don't hoop, nigga. That was I thought that was my fault. I was about to say, talk, nigga. We can hear you. Nigga talk. Oh, he's talking about throw, throw some shots. Throw some shots. Oh, throw some shots nigga roll you to. Tell Kentu who rolled. Yo, no, he talked about niggas. I wasn't trying to be on no dog shit, but. Listen, bro, he talked about niggas. I wasn't trying to be on no dog shit, but like. They all still in character. You said they all still in character. They all still in character. You make it a character and shit. It was like, not like that. Like, he didn't, no shade to him. I don't really know him, but like, he didn't bring like what I bought to this shit. I wasn't really like, I ain't really have to do too much acting, you feel me? Because that's like really who I am and shit. So it's like. It was it was kind of easy. It was just like, and then it, what made it easier was everybody that's like involved. Like everybody, like my first day made me comfortable and shit. It wasn't no, like the energy was good. I Not ain't fair. I wasn't uncomfortable with shit like that. So, but like it was easy. Yeah, he came in. He fit right in. Like he it just, was easy for sure. Yeah, he made sure. it look. He made it look easy. Mm-hmm. So let me ask y'all something real quick. What did y'all learn about y'all selves just throughout this process of y'all, you know, shit in y'all new acting form? Uh, or did y'all learn anything about y'all selves? I, I learned it's a lot like it's a lot easier to uh, fall into something that you're not used to than uh, than you thought. Like you feel me? Mm. Like it's a lot easier to adjust to it when you really want to do it. Like see, a lot of people they they don't be really want to do the shit that they say they want to do. It's easier to do it than you think. You can adjust to anything as long as you really want to do it. No fact for sure. That's a fact. Yeah, whatever you put your mind to, just do that shit. Like so I learned, you feel? Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. Sometimes you can wing it. Like what, just do just do like Nike just do, just that, do shit. that shit. No, no, that's a big <laughs> fact. That's a big fact. What you about to say, bro? Mom was just like learning like to be open and more comfortable around like new pe- like new faces and shit. Like for me, that's what it really was for me. Like just coming in this joint, being comfortable because uh-huh. I wasn't comfortable. I wouldn't been able to do it. You feel me? Uh-huh. But it was just that for me, like just being comfortable with everybody, and that, that's what made it like made it easier. Like just you feel me? Everybody vibe was good. Shit, everything was all good. You feel no, me? no, that's that's a good joint. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's always. It's like it's a newfound excitement yeah, yeah. When, when you're doing something. And, and we and had like fun said, the whole time. Like, yeah, start to finish, like, yo, we, I started to say that, like, too. Like, the whole shit was like, it wasn't the a day where, like, even the rehearsals was fun. Like, after we rehearsed, or go over our lines and shit, we'd yeah. chill for hours, a couple hours after that. Then when it came to, like, being on set, that shit was like, like, we really doing this shit now. And, yeah. like, it was. It became like a, it, it's more than, like, it's deeper than just, the, like, the movie. For sure. Mm-hmm. It became like, we, like, family now. You feel me? Like. It, it, it's, it's, it's good though when like people can come together like that. You feel me? Yeah, it's a good ass feeling, and, and you know what I mean. Not to mention like you feel me like. And everybody got beginning. along too. For sure, you know, yeah. it was like no weird shit, no nut shit. Everybody got along. We all laughed, chill, smoke, all that shit. We yeah. had a good time. Good sure. time. All right, so look, y'all. Before we switch him up, right? I want to ask y'all. On the count of three, y'all just point. Mm. Who had the most mess ups? One, two, three. We can't do that know. because like the sets, the sets was like closed, like yeah, on the, they, yo, on the every, day of filming. So like you, you couldn't really see who <laughs> you saw yeah. was doing what. Yeah, but I'm talking about it, y'all three. Y'all had oh, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all, y'all the three oh, most three. dog shit boys. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. Like, all right, so that's crazy. You said that for the most part, we ran through our shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all was running shit. Yeah, yeah. Right, like, right, honestly, right. like yo, and the rest of cast will vouch for it. Like yo, we really like yeah, we one take. So it wasn't never one of those. Hold on, y'all, or no laughs. For the most part, it's like all the old smack that nigga. Damn, bro, you smacked the shit off my ass. No, 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 had to do over was like for like, like a, choice. Se- a second shot like a different a different angle and okay. shit. Like right. it was like something that we just wanted to try something yeah, different like you know sure. like you record a song you like hold on I want to try something different, yeah, different bar yeah. it was like that type of thing it was yeah, never right. like a fuck up though it was like always like yeah it wasn't too many messages we running through that shit I'm gonna call y'all niggas the dog improv. shit boys the dog <laughs> shit boys was on they shit that was on y'all shit just the beginning yeah for sure yeah man listen uh, that's a good really deal Really jump into that shit but You feel me <laughs> Alright so look y'all We about to go to our next commercial break We appreciate y'all Everybody shout out Instagram out real quick Sure Follow me on Instagram uh, Westside Strizzy Yeah I'm, me? A, I'm on Instagram Everything Rainy day Underscore no cop I'm one twine One TWXN Fuck with me So we back We got the cast of The Lick The Movie We got a couple <laughs> Takeover members in the building Yeah we got We got a new face in the middle as well so everybody should do shout outs real quick. Y'all already know who I am. It's big motherfucking next star. The biggest. <laughs> <laughs> next up. 
Man, you got my mind. You got to move your, your hand from your mouth. Man, mama. you got my mind. Where everybody know me, wipe my mind. Mama, huh? Yeah. What up? She, they called me old, you feel what I'm saying? In the film, the lick, I play Ace. Yeah, facts. Mama, and they, y'all, they sorry, y'all was supposed to tell us who y'all play in the film. Man, I play Mercedes. Just call me Sadie's, though. Mama, I feel like you're a gangster. I ain't there going to lie. <laughs> I feel like you're a whole <laughs> fucking gay. You're giving me some vibes blues, right man. now. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Who you play, Nay? I play Keisha. Keisha? Mm-hmm. All right, so look, let's start off. Everybody tell me a little bit about your character. I got to go first. Yes, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that girl. Y'all going to see on the movie. Y'all going to love me. Keisha and Naystar might be twins, y'all. They might be the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Hot, cold, they're a little similar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me hear about your character. Man, I got a real good effect on people, man. Oh, you said you got real bad effects. That's all you see, man. I got big effects on motherfuckers. Yes, she do. Like, what you mean? What you mean? Man. She got that effect on people. Oh, shit about to go down. Uh, <laughs> you make it through the movie? Don't trust me, man. Don't trust me. I made me. it. I made it, man. Don't trust me. Oh, shit. All right. Take slide. This is get interesting. Hey, hey, oh, talk to me. Tell me about your character. She, you already know I'm a lead back, get money ass nigga, but don't think for one second I'm going to take any shit. Period. That nigga's still in character. He, they still shooting. <laughs> nigga, this me in real life. <laughs> no, facts. So, so, all right. So, tell me about that. Do you Do y'all feel like Y'all characters kind of represent who y'all are. Yeah, I really didn't have to act. That's just really me. Exactly. <laughs> I ain't even gonna get the shit fit. I didn't even have to act. <laughs> I would have your shit. So like, all right. all right. So how did it go when like wh- how did y'all feel when y'all got y'all roles and then read it over and under like realized who y'all character really was? I mean, once she posted it, Mazai posted it on Instagram, and you know she put out the roles and. You know, they personalities and shit like that. I'm like, oh, shit. That's this is doing all right. You feel, I ain't even asking for that role. She was like, are you going to play Ace? I'm like, cool. That's the joint I wanted anyway. Uh-huh. Yeah, and she just gave me that role. I ain't know which one I was going to get. Yeah, I did same shit. I ain't know who the fuck I was gonna be. In there. And so, that John fit like literally, <laughs> like I'm like, yo, why everything <laughs> on here sound like me? <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck this. Well, where you from? <laughs> I'm from Chester. Are oh, you from yeah. Chester? All right, all right. So yeah, this is Chester's on. finest in the building right here. You know, we got the on. Chester. T- yeah, so yeah, all right. Like. So real quick, <laughs> <clears throat> I went to Penwood. And we used to kick y'all ass. Man, shut the fuck up. Y'all niggas hate all them African on your team. He did. Shout out to Africa, <laughs> LIB, my dogs, guy, <laughs> boy, <laughs> my niggas, Ed, Sandy. You feel me? We did. You feel me? I just had to throw that. I wouldn't be me if I ain't throw my shot. You know what I'm saying? But no, so so how does it feel just being in a movie that's, you know, portrayed from y'all hood where y'all grew up? Mm, it feel good. It feel it, feel, yeah. it don't bring like y'all know like cause I know me like personally like if I was in the Darby movie you feel me like or a Phil Darginia movie you know what I'm saying y'all know about Phil Darginia yeah <laughs> that's where I'm from <laughs> yeah, my, y'all know about Phil Darginia alright so you feel me I lived in Philly you feel me I was born in Philly later a couple years moved to Darby grew up there Virginia you know what I'm saying college man so I'm from Phil Darginia but I know if I was in a movie based on Phil Darginia in a role that fit me oh that should be the biggest shit in the world to me that should be like you know I ain't saying? even gonna kick that shit. Mm-hmm. That shit. That shit had me feeling like I was hype as shit. You feel what I'm saying? Cause this not the first joint I, I did with Mazai. Like when she first started out, shit, we used, I was already working with her. You feel what I'm saying? So that shit just felt good as shit. Mm. I'm just proud of her. You feel what I'm saying? Keep pursuing your dream. Never yeah. stop. You hear me? No, fact. Tell me a little bit about Mazai. A little bit. She. She. She, Mazai, she a relaxed, passionate person. You feel what I'm saying? She, she make a you, Virgo. She make you feel comfortable. Here's that timber one. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? She full of joy. You dig what I'm saying? You can't never hear no bad vibes when you're around Mazai. You feel what I'm saying? And you can always tell when she pissed off. Oh, yeah. That's when you pissed it's off. Nah, one thing I can say, I don't like when she pissed off, y'all. I don't like when she mad. So she got mad at you in the movie? She, nah, nah, t- nah. T- t- something, t- what happened? Give me a Mazai. I'm the mad only story. nigga on the cast that was late for the up. Uh, she hardly mad. You yeah. just can't get her in nah. her bag. Tell you me a time me? when she was in her bag. When y'all was like, when all right, y'all. y'all when Kintu don't back. do his role she right. When Kintu don't do his role, she got to keep telling Kintu to keep doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she mad. I ain't even okay. One time she was mad. We was in the car. She was just pissed off. The fuck, 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 fuck. I'm like, chill, Miss. I just calm down. 
Dude, this motherfucker gas yeah. started hitting hard. Do not like, drive <laughs> slow in front of Mazaya. <laughs> Move the fuck out the way. <laughs> she beep it. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, Mazaya got that roll raise in her. No, that's that's yeah. dope, y'all. So, um, before we get out of here, I just want to know for y'all, um, like, like, I'm trying to think of something I asked. You feel me? But um, for this movie, right? What do you want people to take from it after they watch it? Watch your back. Seriously. You can't trust everybody. Don't trust nobody. Literally, yeah. don't trust nobody. Even the <laughs> bitches. Even the most finest bitches don't never trust them. Right. Seriously, don't give a <laughs> fuck. They got the biggest BBL. She's a gangster. No catch. She's uh-huh. a fucking gat. You feel me? You got to watch your body. My wallet. Where you go and watch it. <laughs> shit, ain't no matter if you lose it all. Shit. It's always going to be that day you get that shit right back. Uh, that's a fact. That's a fact. Hey, y'all, where can they find y'all at? You can find me on everywhere at Nayla Star with two R's. Where can they find you? Man, same shit. All platforms know me, Rex. You feel me? Yeah. yeah. N O M I. Know me, not know my. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all can find me everywhere at double O, the word double O, breezy, at everywhere on all platforms. Hey, y'all know what it is. Make sure y'all check out the Lick the Movie. Period. Come to 2024. Like Polly said, don't keep asking. Don't know. That's gonna come out next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Mazaya. <laughs> <laughs> big dog. Yeah, big shout out to Mazaya. Shout out to my boy Reese. Period. Shout the out. whole cast. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Hey, yo, Cass, y'all come here real quick. Come here, everybody. Come here real quick. Look at this bitch. Fuck you talking about. Bitch, I don't know if they got duck a little bit to get the camera. Yeah, they. One twine. Shout out to my boy Fidel Barber. I saw that this job, Preach. man. We're gonna do some TV shit. Up, on three, we're gonna say the lick the movie. The lick the movie. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That sounds good. You're the writer. That sounds good. We on our way. One, two, three. The lick the movie. Don't ask about the move, it's coming on soon. Leave me alone, my mom.